Welcome to PC Mac. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and install Maximax on Raspberry Pi 4. And I'm running Raspberry Pi 4, that is 4GB version. For those who don't know what is Maximus, Maximus is a software through which we will see all our apps in a single window from where we can operate them. So let's do it. First of all, let's just go ahead and open the website for Maximax. So we are going to use the Linux server image and by going down, we just need to copy this command. We are going to use the CLI. So let's just put here. And I have already copied the path of the media folder. Now. To set up other information, let's just go ahead and log into Open Media Vault and as well as SSH to the Raspberry Pi. So we are logged in here on to our Pi through root, and then the Open Media Vault is also open, and the portainer is also up and running. Let's just go ahead and open the containers. We have all these containers running right now so what we'll do we just need to move here and start from the top and the name is correct now we need the PUID and PGID so the username for my docker is PC Mac so what we need to do is put the information that is ID and then the PC Mac that is case sensitive then we have the UID and GID 1001 and 100 so let's just go ahead and put it there now for the time zone it use Europe London so let's just go ahead and change it we need to move to network and then go to sorry we need to move to date and time and then copy it from here so it also uh, bind to the port 80 and we are running next cloud pi on this port so what we'll do we'll just uh, map the port to some other port let's just select port 95 so the 80 port will bind to the port 95 and let's create a path here for the config folder so this will be generated under containers and then maximax it's done let's just check it one more time on samba so the container is right here and it will create a new container under container folder so the name is containers that's correct so let's just go ahead and copy it and run the command here in the PowerShell so it will start downloading the image and it will take a moment and as we change the port from 80 to 95 so it will be available on port 95 it will take a moment to download I'll be back So it says error response from daemon driver failed programming external connectivity on endpoint maximex and the bind for 00080 failed. So let's just go ahead and check it under portainer what we can do. So we need to bind the port 95 here and then run the command one more time. So it's done now. I have uh, using the port binding from a different location so I am doing it uh, in a wrong way because I put 95 here uh, we need to put the port number that it's used here and then the bind port here 95 now let's just go ahead and access this on port 95 so uh, to make it a little bit different we've changed the port to 8085 and uh, once we go on to Firefox and just try to access the it on 8085 automatically take us to this screen 
where we can see all our apps so once we click on Plex let's select it so right now it's taking us to its website so it's right here what we need to do we need to go into settings and then we can just go ahead and change everything from here like the Plex is available on so we'll start with the uh, let's try to put MB server and it's available on port 8096 so let's just go ahead and try to add a new one add and then the name and name is MB and then the URL is uh, let's just go ahead and open it it's available on 8096 so we can put the URL here and uh, let's select the icon we need to search for the icon I don't know why the search option is not working let's select the color so uh, let's select the green color choose and then this one is added here and then save and reload once we do that a new icon will be added once we click on it it will take us directly to the website right from here so you can see the icon on the top as well right here and we can just move it from these locations so our MB is done so it, it will be available here it will sync so let's just do it for sonar as well once we click on it it will take us to the website uh, so we need to go into settings one more time so MB is added let's just add sonar and then check so you just need to configure it put all the things here that is uh, you have installed on your Pi and you will see all the links right here so we have uh, the couch couch potato it's available on 5050 so let's just change the settings here and then we have sonar as well that is on 8989 then we can remove the one which were which we are not using so let's just remove these extras so we will have a clean look now i have removed some of the extra options that are there now let's check how it worked now so you can see now everything is good to go we have all the options here it might take time uh, on the first go but after that it will work absolutely fine so you can also go ahead and set it up on your Pi and share your feedback with me on the comment section so this is it for the today video if you like my work please hit the like button subscribe to my channel press the bell notification for my latest video please share this video with your family and friends that will help our channel to grow thanks for watching bye bye take care have a nice day